Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, good, good evening. evening. Welcome to your class. How are you, everyone? I'm fine. You are very fine. You? I'm very fine. Thank you for asking. Good My name is Sandra. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your teacher for this in this module. Some of you already know me. We have new students. Welcome. Welcome to the group. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Edgardo. Welcome. We have Elsie. Nevi, hi. Welcome. We have Ana Xiomara. Oswaldo. We have Genesis. Ledvia, welcome. Hello. Elmer. Hi. Yes, Elmer Giovanni, welcome. Wendy Graciela. Karina Janilet. Rebecca Vanessa, welcome. We have Jaime, Álvaro, Karen Xiomara, Jonathan, okay. Susana, Carla Saraí, Katy Esther, Denise, who else we have? Jedmi, Carla Elizabeth, and Gabriela Abigail. Welcome, guys. How was the weekend? Good, miss. It was very good. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. And That's you? nice, right? It was very good. Thank you for asking. Yes. Everything nice, right? <laughs> and prepare to right. continue. Good. Okay. Welcome to the next model that we have here. To the model three already. So quickly. And we have that the execution dates, they are from September 25th to October 19th. Again, for four weeks, right? And we have the same format here in the week one, section one, section two. And sometimes we can continue with uh, week two, right? It depends on the topic. A veces, dependiendo del, del tema, se nos puede hacer un poquito más largo, nos pasamos a la otra semana, pero siempre se cubre el material. We have week two, section three and midterm, that is the evaluation. Week three is section four. Then week four, Section five and the final exam. Ooh. The section, we always have five sections, but in section one, we're going to see about what are you going to do? So we'll see about the future. Let's go on then. So what's the first section? What are you going to do? And it says that our objective, by the end of this class, you will learn the month and dates. Additionally, you will learn about birthdays. So you will express when is your birthday and also on a specific holidays that we have. Let's go ahead then. First, we need to know about ordinal numbers. We know ordinal numbers, they have an order. Different than the cardinal numbers that they are the normal numbers. So it says that we normally add a TH to the end of a cardinal number to make it an ordinal number. Be careful of the spelling exceptions, be about. So not all of them are equal. They are going to vary a little bit. We have the first one. Number one, include the ST. Why? Because you are going to include the last two letters in the name. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, now, here we repeat the routine because we have 20, it's not 21, it's 21st. So you have the number 20 and then first. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. 31st, repeat the routine here. 31st, then you continue with um, 32nd, 33rd, right? Until 40th, 41st, 50th, 51st, 
So it's like a repetition of routine, right? We have first, second, and third. They are very different. But when you begin with the fourth, it starts with the H. For that reason is that when you have a specific dates, you include the number and then the TH. Or if it's for first, second, or third, you include ST for first to the number. If it's April 1st, September 25th, 25 plus, you include TH. And we have the uses of ordinal numbers with the dates. They are specific days. Her birthday is on the 29th. Centuries. What are centuries? Siglos. Siglos. Uh -huh. So we can also use it for centuries. For example, Shakespeare was born in the 16th century. Uh -huh. So you can, you can use also an ordinal number. Also for floors of a building. For example, do you remember in the model two that you were talking about houses and apartments, that there are some of the houses and apartments that they have different levels. So the first level, second level, third level, fourth level. So in that case, you can also use ordinal numbers. Puede utilizarse de las dos formas, Miss. Aha, in the two forms, you can use it, correct. Okay. We have a video. We're going to watch it. This one is about month and dates. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that we need to add the preposition on. Next we add the month April. 
Uh, finally, we include the date 5th. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. All right, so we could see about some of the dates there, also about those ordinal numbers, and some holidays, days that we celebrate in different countries. How to say our birthday in English? We can use this manner. Let's include. In the question, you can investigate like this. When is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. When is Independence Day in the U.S.? And we have it here, right? 4th of July. But also it's possible to say Independence Day is on July 4th. So you mentioned here like the special day that is Independence Day. Then we need to include the verb to be preposition on that is only for a specific dates. Because we mentioned the month and the specific day, fourth. A special day plus verb to be plus on plus month plus the date. That will be the complement here. My birthday is on April 5th. Independence Day is on July 4th. We have other holidays here. New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Christmas, Mother's Day, but we can also mention others. Which are others? Father's Day is another one. Yes. Any others? Mother's Day. Uh -huh. We have Mother's Day Four. here. Father's Day. Any other one? Father's Day. The Labor Day. Uh -huh. Doctor's Day. Labor Day. Yeah. Which other? Sorry? Doctor's Day. Works Day. Uh -huh. yes, it's, it's like Dr. a Day. doctor's day. The worst day is the labor day. Is this one? Ah, uh, okay. Thursday. Labor day. Aha, uh -huh. that's the labor's day. Doctor's Halloween day. Halloween. Labor. That's another holiday. Yes, that is very soon, right? Doctor's day. You also have Halloween. What? Any other one? That is celebrated. Teacher's Day. Teacher's Day, that's another one. Children's Day. Children's Day, yes. Nurse Day. The Nurse Day, yes. We have the Nurse Day. Nurse Day. Any other day? The Music's About Day. Music's Day? That exists, really? Yes. Really? Oh, I didn't know exists the day is the music. <laughs> Music's day, okay. What about the secretary's day? It's another one, right? How do right. you say Dia de Muertos? That day. The death, the death. That day. The death, that's day. We have the secretary's day. Secretary's Day. So we have a lot of celebrations, right? That we can express also investigating. 
So let's ask. We have some questions cross to day. ask. Uh, sorry? Cross day. The, the cross day, right? When do we celebrate that? The cross day. It's in May, right? Police, police day. The police A3. day. Uh -huh, that's true. Yes. Any other one? The soldier's Woman's day. day. Which one? The woman's, woman's day. day. Uh -huh, that's true. Also celebrate the woman's day. So there are a lot of celebrations that we have. So let's move to another thing. Now we're going to ask some questions here. But we're going to erase these parts. All right, so let's answer here. If you notice here, when you mention an ordinal number, and this one has TH, for example, if you say the 10th and the 15th, we need to mention TH together. And TH, this, the sound is like, this is sounds, the Z sounds. So this one, eh, suena como una Z, hay TH junto. 30th. 50th. So not only the number, but we need to pronounce with this letter. When you ask the question, when is your birthday? For example, my birthday is on May 1st, so on the Labor's Day. What about you? Elsie, Elsie, when is your birthday? <coughs> my birthday is on, on July. Twenty nine. Is on July. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. All right. Thank you. On July. Twenty nine. Look, there we're including the ordinal number here, and as it's a specific <coughs> date, you don't say only in July, right? It's possible to say only in July, but then. You only say like this. The preposition is different. It will be in July. And only that. But if you are being very specific, then the preposition is on, on July 29th. What about you, Nevi? When is your birthday? My birthday is on December 4th. On December 4th. Wow, almost Christmas, right? Hey, yes. that's good. <laughs> Wendy, what about you? When is your birthday? <clears throat> Wendy, Wendy Graciela? <clears throat> Hello, can you listen to us? Jaime, Jaime Alfredo? Hi. Hello, Jaime. When is your birthday? My birthday is March 31. All right. On March 31st. 31, huh? Ah, you can mention like this. On March 31st. Like to practice the ordinal numbers, you can use like this. On March 31st. 31st. Thank you. Very good. Latvia, when is your birthday? The question is? Yes, tell me. En el caso de 31, como es en número, siempre le vamos a agregar ese T al final. To mention an ordinal number, yes. Ah, okay. Y si va en, en palabra, uh, se escribe correctamente. You can use two manners. If it's in letters, then it will be 30 first. But actually, this one is optional. If you want to write it with ordinal, si lo quiere escribir en ordinal, tendría que ser así. 31st. Y si lo quiero abreviar con número, sería de esa manera. It will be like this. 21st. Okay, thank you, Is Miss. The, you're welcome. Is the normal number and then the two letters. Es el número cardinal más las dos últimas letras de cómo se escribe el cardinal. Yes? It's like this. As you have the number here, let's erase this. Uh, 
in this part. As you have uh, this part. You have the common noun, the number here, but the words is first. The two last letters are S and T. So to abbreviate, you can use the number and the last two letters. The complete form to write second, it will be this, but the last two letters, they are ND. So you to abbreviate, you write the number and the last two letters, the final two letters. Same case with third. We have the number and number to make abbreviation, include the last or the final two letters. Serían siempre las dos últimas consonantes. Exactly, that is correct. It's the last two letters that you include. The last ones. So to be more like in order, when you have an order in them. Let's continue with the next part. Okay, so we are here to asking about the birthday. Elmer, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 5th. On July 5th. 5th. July 5th. Very good. That's nice. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Elsie, what about you? When is your birthday? My birthday is, is um, on July 5th. Oh, you said one, right? It's true. 29, that's true. You said it already. Thank you. Carla, what about you? When is your birthday? Dijo Carla? Carla, yes. Uh, my birthday is um, September is 16. Oh, wow. Almost Independence Day. <laughs> the next day. That is good. So that means you have a free day that day. You have vacation. <laughs> Yes. You have a relax on that day. Very good. Thank you. What about you, Edgardo? When is your birthday? My my birthday is on May 17th. On May 17th. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. We continue with Karina. When is your birthday, Karina? Uh, my birthday is on December 9th. On December? 9th. Nine. That's all right. Great one. Okay. What about when is Independence Day in El Salvador? Genesis? When is Independence Day in El Salvador? It's on September 15th. 15th, right? It's on September 15th. That's correct. Maria Jose. 15th. 15th. 15. Yes, right, okay. Maria Jose, when is Mother's Day? Uh -huh. What is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is, and we use a specific. Ten. Aha, uh -huh, okay. It's on. What is the month? Is it January, February, March, April, May, June? May. On May. Aha. Uh -huh. On May. Ten. On May ten. Yes. So that is the date, right? What about Father's Day? When is Father's Day, Gabriela? Abigail? Father's Day is on June 17. June 17, yeah, that's correct. Good one. Rebecca Vanessa. When is Valentine's Day? Valentine's, Valentine's Day is on... Uh, 40, 14, 14th. Uh-huh, but what is the month? 
February. 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 Aha, that's good. Is on February? 14th. 14th. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. Then let's go ahead here. As we mentioned here, we have the verb to be, right? And when we have it with the special dates. Any question? With the ordinal? No question, yes. Miss. Okay. Let's go ahead then. We are going to study about the simple future. And let's say that by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions using the going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So what we use is the future would be going to. It's used to express plans. So let's check here. Express future plans decided before the moment of speaking. So they are basically plans that you have. You meditate things that you want to do in the future. <clears throat> For example, I'm going to buy a movie ticket. Voy a comprar un boleto para ver película, right? I'm going to buy a movie ticket. The other rule that we have is express a prediction based on present evidence. For example, there are black clouds in the sky. It is going to rain. It's what normally happens, right? When we see the sky and you see kind of gray or black. So we have black clouds and you start making a prediction. It is going to rain. Maybe it's not going to rain, but it's a prediction that you are making. So that's an introduction, but we have a video. We're going to watch it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future would be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing Happy Birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. 
the subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invites. Finally, we add a compliment. All my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you and a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, watch the video there. So some structures and also examples about that using the simple future. Now, if you notice in that formula that we have is a subject, we have a verb to be. Remember the verb to be, you are going to conjugate depending on the subject. After that, we need going through. It's always part of the structure. Then you have a verb, that's the action in the base form all the time. And then you have a complement. I am going to celebrate my birthday. She is going to invite all my friends. In affirmative form, we can use, I am going to go to El Pital next week. So this is a plan that I have. Look at that here. We have subject, verb to be, going to, the base form of the verb, the rest is a complement. But this is complete manner. It's also possible you can make contraction to say, am. Substitute, I am, am. I'm going to go to El Pital next week. Or another case will be, I am going to meet a friend tonight. In a negative form, it will be like this. I'm not going to go to El Pital next week. So in a negative, you have subject, verb to be, negative form not, going to, base form of the verb, and complement. Another example will be, you are not going to be a good lawyer. That's negative manner. How will be this one in a contraction? Tell me, how will be contraction, remember? Uh 
How will be una respuesta matter? corta de negativa. Eh, no, just eh, a negative. It's not a, like an answer. It's just transform. Eh, like in this case, if you say, you are not going to be you a good lawyer. In a contraction. You? You aren't. You, you are. aren't. Okay, that's good. You can say like that. You aren't. Or also you can say you're not. There are two possibilities. You're not. And the rest is the same. So you aren't or you're not going to be a good lawyer. So here we're making a prediction. In this case, it's not a plan, but it's a prediction that we have. But it's a negative form. Now, to say the formula here, to express it, let's check here. We have a subject, verb B, in complete or contraction manner. I am going to go or I'm going to go. Then you can have, you are going to do. He is going to see. She is going to play. It is going to fight. You are going to tell. We are going to read. They are going to go. That's affirmative. Or if it's negative, then we say, I am not going to go. You are not going to do. He is not going to see. She is not going to play. It is not going to fight. You are not going to tell. We are not going to read. They are not going to go. So that's my instructor that we have. Questions about this? We have a, a short exercise next. No questions for this? No question, miss. Okay. We are going to pass the list. Let me know that you are present, please. All right, let's see first, Álvaro Mauricio. Presente. Thank you, Álvaro. Ana Xiomara. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. Brenda Rachel. Brenda. Present, miss. Thank you, Brenda. Present. Camila Alessandra. Camila Alessandra. Carolina Elizabeth. Carolina Elizabeth. Denise Rosalia. Present, Miss. Thank you, Denise. Clara Judith. Clara Judith. Edgardo Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Edgardo. Elmer, Elmer Giovanni. Present, Miss. Thank you, Elmer. Gabriela Abigail. Hola, teacher. Hello, Gabi. Thank you. Elsie del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Genesis, Genesis Abigail. Present. Thank you, Genesis. Jaime Alfredo. Present. Thank you, Jaime. Jose Oswaldo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Jose. Jonathan Adonai. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Karen Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Teacher, excuse me. Tell me. Este, fíjese que voy a, a pasar algún inconveniente por acá, entonces eh, voy a abandonar las clases hasta aquí, fíjese. Ok. Pero solo será por esta vez, nada más. Ok, thank you for informing. Eh, disculpe. Gracias por Gracias. informar. Thank you, Permiso. thank you so much. See you tomorrow then. Goodbye. Then we have, uh, let's see, Carla Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Thank you, Carla. Kathy? Present. Thank you. Kathy is there, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Carla Saray? Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Present. Thank you. Lázaro Alberto. Lázaro? Letvia Eloida. Present teacher. Thank you, Letvia. You're welcome. María José. Present. Thank you, María José. Nevi Solina. I'm here, Miss. Thank you so much. Oswaldo Stanley. Oswaldo Stanley, yes. No. Rebeca Vanessa. Present, Miss. Yes, thank you. Rodrigo Alexis. I'm here. Thank you, Rodrigo. Susana del Carmen. Susana del Carmen. Wendy Graciela. I am here. Thank you, Wendy. And we have Jedmi. Jedmi uh, Wendy left, right? Present teacher. Thank you, Jedmi. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. So we have this form of our future. Now, let's go ahead with this exercise. It says here that what are these people going to do this weekend? Let's mark it here. So we are going to write sentences and then compare with a partner. We have four on the first line and on the other one we have other four so we have complete eight and they are doing different activities but they are like plans that they have for this weekend for example in number one what are they going to do ¿Qué van a hacer ellos? what are they going to do we got the answer in the example they're going to go dancing van a ir a bailar right they are going to go dancing in number two, what is she going to do? She's going to read. Ella va. What's the answer? A leer, right? Le okay. She's going to read. So they are plans that they already have premeditated. Let's see about number three. Brenda, tell me, number three, what is he going to do this weekend? He's going uh, swimming. Aha, uh -huh. he's going to go swimming. He's going to go swimming. That's all right. He is going to go swimming. So that is the action that he's going to do this weekend. Let's continue. Let's see Carla Sarai. In number four, then we have, what is she going to do this weekend? The microphone, please, Carla. The microphone, you need to activate it. 
is off. Tiene desactivado el, el micrófono. Oswaldo, you have a question? ¿Puedo opinar? I'm sorry? ¿Puedo opinar? Go ahead, yes, tell me. He's going to walk or running? Ah, wrong, right? Yeah, it looks there that she's going to do wrong, right? Wrong. As in the Hi. picture, right? <laughs> Hello, who's okay. speaking? So that will be he or she? She. 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 It's she. she, right? It's a woman. That's correct. So she's going to run. She's going to run. That's right, good. What about number five? Elder, we have number five. What are they going to do? They are going to lunch. Okay, or to eat lunch, right? We need to include the eat. They, okay. There. We is in capital. You need to have their going to eat lunch. And we can include a complement, eat lunch together, for example. They're going to eat lunch together. Or another option could be they are going to go to the restaurant, right? Different manner, right, to express it. Thank you, Elmer. Let's see, Gabriela, <clears throat> number six. She's Number going six. to she's uh -huh. going to watch TV. Very good job. Nice. Yes. Going to watch TV. TV. Right. Very good job. Nice. Alvaro. Yes. Hi, Alvaro. Number seven. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? This they are going they, to the cinema. They are going to go to the cinema. Okay, that's good. We can also say another option, right? Alvaro, do you have any other idea? They are going they, to go to the cinema. They, any other? They they are going to watch movie. A movie. Oh, okay, that's movie. good. Yes, they are going to. Go to the cinema or they are going to watch a movie. Right? That will be another option. What about number eight? Ana Xiomara? Ana Xiomara, are you present? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see number eight. What is he going to do this weekend? No entiendo si está en oficina o si está jugando con un carrito. <laughs> no, it's in an office. It's an office. He's going to office. He's going. But what action? What action is he going to do in the office? Work. Excellent. That's good. So? He is going to work. He's going to work. So that is the action that he is going to do. Now, let's repeat hey, them. Miss? Yes, tell me. Podríamos complementar ahí en, in the office. Sure, not a problem. You can also say in the office. In the office. You can give like a more information. If you want here, he's going to work in the office also here. And uh, she's going to run in the park. They're going to eat lunch together in a restaurant. He's going to watch TV. What else? What compliment would you give? He's going to watch TV? In the room. Uh, in the room, in the living room, in his house, in his friend's house. So you can give extra information too. Now, let's practice the reading form. A question, Miss. Go ahead, tell me. ¿Por qué en el primer verbo se le coloca ING y en los demás no? In what verb? This one? 
Dancing. No. Dancing. Dancing. Ah, this one. Because this one is an idiomatic expression. Hay expresiones idiomáticas que van unidas al verbo go en especial. Porque estas nos referimos que son actividades eh, para entretenerse. Like go dancing, go shopping. No puede ir go to shop or go dance. Ya son expresiones arregladas. ¿Y cómo podemos saber que, que van con ING y otras no? Siempre que vaya después de go e incluya una actividad, debe de ir con un ING. Ah, Pero okay. se refiere a una actividad, no a algo que estoy haciendo en el momento, porque también este verbo con ING puede referirse a que estoy haciendo la actividad en el momento, como bailando. Uh. Pero como va con el verbo go, a esto se le llama un gerundio que proviene de un verbo, pero no es una acción que se está dando en el momento, sino es una actividad. Es un gerundio. Y gerundio es un nombre. O sea es... que al decir, they are going dance. They are going they... to dance. To dance. Ajá. Está incorrecto. Sería correcto, solo que ya no llevaría go. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya es simplemente diría, van a bailar. Ya no es van a ir a bailar. Uh, Ajá. Ahora, yeah. si utilizo go, entonces sí necesito utilizar ese gerundio. Go shopping, ir de compras. En ese de caso la... hay dos verbos, ¿verdad, Miss? Lo que pasa es que acá el verbo go sí trabaja como una acción, pero el segundo no trabaja como una acción, sino como una actividad. Es como ir de pesca. Okay. No decimos voy pescando, sino ir de pesca. Es una Correct. actividad. Es un, se convierte en un nombre. Ir de compras. It's like here. Let me write it here. Go shopping. Go shopping. Se traduce como ir de compras. No es ir comprando. Correcto. Ajá. Son expresiones ya arregladas. Es una expresión idiomática. Ok. Thank Pero you, es Miss. un gerundio. You're very welcome. So in here, if you say, eh, she's going to go to read, you don't need it, right? Va a ir a leer, no se necesita porque el verbo en sí ya me está dando a qué se refiere. Va, eh, va a leer. Este sí lo necesita porque se va a desplazar a un lugar a realizar una actividad. Yes, so that is my action. Yes. Go. Yeah. Okay, let's repeat them then. Let be a repeat number one, please. They are going. They're going to go dancing. Very good. Thank you, Wendy. Welcome. Wendy Graciela, number two. She's going to read. To read. Yeah, to read. Read, read. Read, not red, read. Because red is the color. Red. Excellent. Uh -huh. You say read. That's right. Thank you. Ana Xiomara, number three. He is going to go in, in, in swimming. Right. Swimming. 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 We am. Swimming. 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 That's good. He's going to go swimming. He's going to go is swimming. 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 That's good. Thank you. Oswaldo, continue. Number four. Habemos dos Oswaldo. Apellido. Oswaldo Hernández. <laughs> okay. She's going to run. Very good job. Thank you. Elsie, continue, please. Number five. They're going to eat lunch together. Very good. Thank you, Edgardo. Number six. He's going to watch TV. Very nice. Let's go on with um, verifying. Kathy? Kathy is there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Let's repeat the number seven, please. They're going to go to cinema. To the cinema. To the cinema. To the cinema. Thank yes. you so much. Denise. Denise. He's going yes. to work in the office. In the office. That's good. All right. Questions, guys.
No question. No question? Questions. Okay. Give me examples then, please. Tell me. What are the things you are going to do tomorrow, for example? What are you going to do tomorrow? Carla Elizabeth, can you give me an example? I'm going to... I'm going to work in the I'm office. In the office. Excellent. That's good. <laughs> Karen, Karen Xiomara, tell me, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to study. To study. Tomorrow. Very good. Really good. Thank you. Rodrigo Beltran. What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to go to learn English tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice one. Jet me. What are you going to do on Wednesday? Now on a different day. Jet me, are you present? I am going to work. I am going to work. Very good. Jonathan, what are you going to do on Thursday? I'm going to watch class. The class. Okay. The class. That's nice. Thank you. Maria Jose, what are you going to do on Friday? I'm going to work on Friday. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Carla, what are you going to do on Saturday? Carla Saray. Carla Saray, yes. Um, I going to I'm, I'm going I to going to run. Mama. To run. Uh -huh. I catch it, Mama. To yes. Okay, to run. Mama, That's good, right? good one. Nice. Carita Jamilet. I catch it. Karina Yamilet. Um, what are you going to do on Sunday? I'm going to work in the party on Sunday. Where are you going to work? I'm sorry. In the office um, or? Um, party. In a party? Uh, in a party on wow. Sunday. DJ. Hey, are you a DJ? No. Okay, are you a wedding so. planner? <laughs> a party organizer. Are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's good. Nice. What about you, Brenda? Brenda Rachel, what are you going to do after the class tonight? I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I am going to go to bed or to yes. sleep. Yes. Yes, that is good. Edgardo, what about you? What are you going to do after the class tonight? I'm going to go to the bed because I I, I need to, to rest because uh, tomorrow uh, I, I'm going to, to return to El Salvador because I'm in La Ceiba, Honduras right now. Oh, okay, interesting. You are in another country. You are abroad right now. Eh? Good. Yes. But, but you live in El Salvador. Yes, I'm living in El Salvador. I, I'm from, I, I'm from El Salvador. Ah, okay, that's good. So you are in another country right now, and you're going to come back. Hey, that's very yeah. good. Yes, because I, I, because I had an, an emergency. Mm, all right. A, a familiar emergency. Yes, okay. So you had yes. by emergency, had to travel. Yes. All right. Thank you, Edgardo. What about you, Nevi? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? A specific. Um. <laughs> I'm going to run in the to run to run in the afternoon. Hi, in the afternoon you run. Ah, okay, you're going to run that day. What time? What time are you going to run? You have a specific time. Uh huh. Two hours. Two hours. No, you are oh, okay. You run for two hours. All right, nice one. What about? Uh, let's see. Oswaldo, what are you going to do? Tomorrow night. I'm going to the I gym. Am, I am going. I am going to go. I am going to go the the gym. To the gym. All right. So yeah. you see, everybody has plans. <laughs> plans. So you analyze yeah. the plans, right? Sometimes we yeah. have the plans come true. Or they come reality, and in some occasions they not, but they are plans that we have. 
All right? Yeah. We are going to continue tomorrow with this, okay? And we'll see more questions with the big going to. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure you, to be here with you. Thank you, Thank you so good much. Night. Nice to meet good you. Night. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good Thank you, Thank you, Miss. Thank you Bye. so much. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Take care. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you so much.